We are leaving in five minutes. Just got to say goodbye to my worms. Couldn't you shout up the stairs? Do you know, I've, I've got a bit of a headache. Oh, dear. Why don't you go without me? It's a family outing. We're all going together. It could turn into a migraine. You don't suffer from migraine. Have a nice time. Thank you, Liz. Oh, Mrs. Prentice, I've done half the ironing. I'll finish it first thing in the morning, if that's all right. Oh, tell you what, I think I'd better stay behind and finish it No, now. you don't. Only I want to get off early. Visiting hours are two till four. And how is Tom? The doctor said it's a few bruised ribs and um, a little bit of muscle strain where Jack hung him out of the window. Your hero, eh? He was very brave. He gave me the strength to tell Jack where to go. I do like a happy ending. <laughs> I do like a happy wife, because I'd be much happier staying here doing the ironing. Yes, I bought these so we don't lose each other. <laughs> there is a limit, Andrew, and you have reached it. Where's your hat? Oh, dear, I seem to have left it in the car. Have mine. It doesn't fit. It's adjustable. It doesn't fit my image. Well, there's someone here who will find it very... Uh... <laughs> Now, where should we start? Calamity Canyon? Um, off you go. I'll just find a little wine bar somewhere. I think I need a bit of a rest. Not until you've had some fun. Oh, well, that's quite something, isn't it? <laughs> You're scared. Do I look scared? I'm going to look at the zoo. Someone has to think about the welfare of animals in captivity. I'll go for Georgia. Why? Uh, hang, hang on a moment. Now, we've got to arrange somewhere to meet. Now, how about the Black Forest Chateau in Transylvania at 4 o'clock, all right? Yeah. On your own, then? Of course. Where are your mates? Around. You're not here with your grandparents, I hope. Um, fancy going on all right? Sure. What's faint hearted? Uh, well, it means, um, oh, good Lord, I don't think I can go on this, you know. I've got uh, high blood pressure. It doesn't mean that. It means you're scared. You're scared. Very. <laughs> and I'm not tall enough. What? You have to be four foot seven, and I'm not. Yes, well, never mind. There's lots of rides we can all go on, and we'll go and find them, won't we, Maggie? Maggie? He's <laughs> grand! I'm afraid it is.
a jailer, aren't you? Sorry, love. You believe this proud, wild creature should be trapped in a prison instead of roaming the plains of Africa? Sumatra, actually. The country doesn't matter. Freedom does. You don't believe in zoos, I gather. I don't believe that noble beasts like this should be in prison, depending on humans for food, like a domestic cat. He was born to hunt for food, to fend for himself. He was, that's true. But he can't. Because he's never been free. We set him free, he'd die. Don't give me your pathetic excuses. Bruno couldn't hunt. He's epileptic. He's got a permanent limp because of an old elbow injury and his vertebrae distorted. We rescued him from a private zoo. Nobody thought he was going to live. But now he's gradually putting on weight. He's safe and he's happy. You still want to set him free? I have to meet my grandparents. <laughs> hello, Philip. I wonder where you got to. Oh, hello, Roxanne. Where are your parents? At home, of course. What are they looking after you? I don't need looking after. <laughs> Elephant <laughs> 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 The Mystic East. Stay here where I can see you. I haven't been on all the rides yet. What's come into you? You didn't even want to come here. I didn't know it would be so exciting. You're a white knuckle junkie, aren't you? <laughs> it's been a long time since I had any excitement in my life. I'm hungry. Right, let's go get something to eat. Oh, I can't. Why not? I haven't been on all the rides yet. Well, pace yourself or you'll be sick. Come <laughs> for one more. Thank you. Here we go again. Isn't it fun? Oh, if you're getting a bit chilly, Philip, there's an extra jumper for you in the car. All right. Feeling sick? Just a bit. Right, we'll have to strap you to the roof of the car on the way home. Oh, Ham, how are you? Hello, Mr. Prentice. <laughs> Family day out? Yes, indeed. Uh, I'm taking a group of deprived youngsters round. It's my first time. I do. Got any recommendations? Yes, don't eat before you go on the runaway mine train. Hey, Philip? Oh, uh, let me introduce you to my senior welfare officer, Mr. Purgrove. Oh. Howard, this is Mr. Prentice. I believe I may have mentioned the Prentices. They're bringing up their grandchildren. Of course. I, I gather that you and Mrs. Prentice are doing a wonderful job. <laughs> Look, a new worm for my collection. Half a worm. Compare your youngsters uh, with my young charges. <laughs> in fact, I have to confess that in the welfare department, we use your family as an example of how displaced children can thrive with mature and sensible guidance. Arrgh! <laughs> <laughs> that that's good. I could never gin and tonic. <laughs> I don't think you met my wife. 